The following genome demonstration will show various ways of pushing a vertex along a normal. In the scene we have a teapot between a couple of boxes. We'll add the regular 3ds Max push modifier in order to take a look at its result. It just takes the vertex position and offsets it along the vertex normal according to the push value. We can recreate this modifier very easily. We'll use vertex iteration mode, press Ctrl O for position output, shift P for position input, addition, the normal times a floating point number which will expose and rename to push value. If we would change this spinner, we'll get exactly the same result as with the built-in 3ds Max modifier. If we increase the value, at some point our teapot is going to leak through the geometry that surrounds it. Let's enable another genome modifier that is already set up in the scene and already takes into account those boxes around the teapot. If we start pushing, the push will stop at the borders defined by those boxes or any other meshes that one could pick. So with positive push values, the effect stops based on a reintersection along the vertex normal. If the projected uh, push position is farther than the intersection and the intersection is valid, uh, the push actually stops at the intersection point. We could, of course, select an existing object or create a new one and add it to the list of the existing modifier. We'll just clone the bottom box and put it on top, then go into the genome and pick it as yet another object. And at this point, our teapot will be pushing against four walls, actually two walls, a ceiling and a floor and will leak out only where there is no collision object. This is something that the built-in push cannot do.